Alright, welcome back to Mario Wii. We're in uh, Mountain Land now. Uh, so we... And this time Mario's not here. Yeah, the Jason v Mario Donald Justice or whatever. <laughs> uh, so... We were... Oh, hey. Alright, fine. Uh, we were talking about last time about... What is it? Uh, hopes for Nintendo this year. Because we, were, we, had, we had a d t discussion last time that got cut off because... It was the end of the session, so I think we should just start with that. Um, yeah, what are you guys wants for Nintendo this year? <coughs> Port over the rest of the Switch, of the Wii U games. Yeah. Because I end this... And then, and, just, and then focus on original stuff. Yeah, because at this point they may as well just move over the entire library. Because <laughs> it's like... What do they have left? They have like Pikmin 3, Wonderful 101. Uh. Spirit. Um, Fatal Frame? I guess. Uh, 3D World. Uh. That's about it, maybe? I might have to look at the library list. A lot of people are, are hoping for uh, an Odyssey 2. Maybe zombie? Maybe Zombie? Uh. Stop. <laughs> Ubisoft, not Nintendo. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look, I'll look up first party Wii U games. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's great. What? What kind of? If we're talking about like brand new games, what kind of things are you wanting to see, Scrappy? Oh, uh, um, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Oh, right, yeah. How does that even get ported? <laughs> I have no idea how to do that one, actually. Uh, is that a blade X? Yeah, I can see that happening. Hmm. Can I actually make this? No, I can- yeah, wait. Mentioned... <laughs> I have to see what's in there. Zelda and Twilight Princess HD. Oh yeah, the Zelda remakes. Any F remix? Um, I'm not fussy aware of that one. Um, I know we have Crafted World of Woolly World, but we want to also have the CBS version. Woolly World would be nice. I probably won't get that game a, a second time, but. You shot the exclusive game. Uh, I know a lot of people that would be happier for Pushmo, so that would be nice. Um, oh crap. Dang it. Star Splash? Ah! Stop doing that, Mario. Star Fox Zero a prop without the stuff going on? Um, I'd like that. They, they'd have to, like... I might, only... might make it tilt better. Yeah. It's the only Wii U port I'm actually... I'd actually be interested in, because I want to see how they improve that game. Yeah, they'd have to, what, like... Zero? Or... Well... Yeah. Yeah. The only, like, the only thing would be just, like, you wouldn't... You would just lose the first person view, unless you can switch out the camera over a button. Yeah, you can switch it with a button. Um... Which would work fine enough, I guess. I'm just gonna hope that there's nothing up there. Uh, I mean, and if you're playing handheld, and if you're playing handheld, that technically works even better. Yeah, like you can technically switch out the camera on the fly in that game with the burn, but the whole idea, the, the whole point of the game was to be able to see both screens at once. And I missed a. Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Okay, I have to go back. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they'd have to change something up in Zero to actually make it work better, but... Well, well wasn't the main complaint the motion controls? Yeah, yeah. That was that was what killed it, wasn't it? Pretty much, like... Like, they... you could have that optional aim with the, with, the gyros, with the gyroscopes and all that now. I think the like, issue... Make it a convention... Yeah, you can get away with playing the game conventionally for the most part but for some reason they made the aiming 
worse than usual for like standard play, which like make, makes it so like in the later stages you're kind of just forced to use the gyro, unless you just want to kind of suffer, I guess. Well, like return, well, like returns like way too sharp or something. Not so much that. It's just really hard to aim. It's really hard to be accurate with the aiming, more so. Mm. It's really weird. It's like, it's hard to tell from footage, but like, you're playing the game, uh, it's a lot easier to make the same kind of shots in like, like 64 and Assault with the same kind of camera view than it is in Zero, because they really want mm. you to use the first person aiming in that. I go away with using what, what, the... Huh? You first. No, I go away with using the normal aiming for the most part, but... Yeah, it's not the most ideal setup. Can I just drop down? No? Okay. I don't know, though. I'd like to see... I think it's not too bad. Is it lagging behind? It was pausing on like one screen of spikes, like throwing down balls for like that, for like minutes. Huh. Well, don't worry about me. That's fine. Um, it'd be nice to see. I think it's also worth. I think it's worth mentioning it as, as of now and at this point. Uh, as of the supporting Tokyo Mirage sessions uh, came out uh, two days ago. Yep. Oh, also, I just had the game explain video to see what was changed or what was, or what was added. Yeah. Not much. Oh, okay. So we're gonna switch port then. Um, load times. Yeah. And I can confirm. Okay, that's fair enough. Nice. Let's just say like loading a loading one or one cutscene took like. 15 seconds in the original. Oh man, remember uh, N Insane Trilogy and... launch day where it was like almost as bad as Ralph of Cortex? Uh. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> on Switch, the load times are like three, three to five seconds at most. Yeah. Battles battles on Wii U, battle transitions on Wii oh, U are yeah, so seven fair. minutes or only, like, or only two seconds. Okay. Or seven minutes. You know what I meant. Yeah. That's nice. Seven minute load time, holy shit. Uh, I think the longest load time, like single load time I've seen is still LEGO City. Uh, where you boot up the game and it takes like, I swear like a few, like three minutes to load. PS3 Skyrim. How long does that take? Gotch. Depends on how much you've been playing. Hmm. I can... Forgive. Believe me, it gets bad later. Yeah, I I think it depends. I had to wait on a loading screen for actually a minute. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I think it depends on how much it's loading because uh, if it's like, um, what? Well, it's like how much it has to like how much of the assets needs to keep accurate. Yeah, because it's like if it has to load like a whole world and stuff, then I'm a bit more lenient with it. But if it's like 30 second well, load. It's, not like Final Fantasy, well, Final Fantasy, it's like, to compare like Final Fantasy 15, it's basically one big load screen for an entire world. Yeah, yeah. So it's just something like that, I'm usually fine with it. It's when it's like 30 second load screens for like small levels, like, uh, that usually, uh, yeah, annoy me. 06 especially, like, we, we harp, we harp on it all the time, but there's kind of, there is a reason for it, because it's like, it's not the fact that the loot. Yeah, it's not. It's not just the fact that it's thirty second low uh, low screens or whatever how how often long it is. It's the fact that they load in between levels and there's like like a crazy amount of them during like missions and stuff. It, it, it's very very evident with the very first mission you do. Yeah. Where you need to talk to robot aim or aim over there. Oh, wait, Robert, that, Roberto, that or something like old, that. Old issue. man, that old man, dude. Yeah. I'm hoping this is like, it needs to load the cut, needs to, you need to say, yes, I'll accept your quest. Then it loads the dialogue box for him, apparently the dialogue box for him, like, giving you the quest. 
And then it has to load again. Yeah. It's really Although, stupid. And then, and then when you and then when you realize there's a mission with Shadow that that doesn't do this, that's it's, it's really offensive. Oh yeah, I never actually play, played that mission, but like, it's like one of the things- Call Johnny's review. Yeah, it's like one of the gun soldiers, like, makes you do a thing. Yeah, where he gives you the mission straight there. Yeah, it's like, what the hell is- what, what is that game? A mess. I'm gonna eat my Pringles now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even getting lives at this point. Instinct. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but I think uh, it's collected, so you're not just gonna ignore it. It's like when you have when I get like 99 lives and crash, I still get the Wumper Fruit for some reason. Can I? Because it's all that, so when you if you die, you'll still be ready to get your next life back. Okay, I yeah, that's true. I guess. Totally meant to do this. I need a nice flower somewhere. Fucking want Pringles. I haven't had something in so long. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, going back to from, if you're wondering what was added for Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore, mm -hmm. it was um, basically like free EX chapters, I believe they were called, which are basically excuses to get, for you to get the DLC costumes from the original game. Oh, uh, okay. One of them is actually Joker's costume. Huh. Alright then. Actually, I think I know. Of course, once I get that, of course, once I get that, I'm never taking it off. Yeah. That is a good costume, so... And, the game, and uh, according to, um, uh, I think it was Andre, the game plan. Mm -hmm. Oh. The game plan, the game plan it, for an RPG, it's actually pretty, a pretty, like, um, comfortable length. It's only 30 hours, according to him. Oh, wow. Huh. Please work. Cool. Such a harsh contrast after doing Xenoblade Chronicles, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that that I have like got like hundred, at least hundred hours in that. Same here, and that's because I was doing all the side quests and trying to trying to make all of uh, some yeah. um, solve some extra Monado. Right. To be fair, I did also do it. Avoiding saying too much because we're because spoilers. Yeah, to be fair, I did do a decent amount of, like, grinding stuff, but... I only made, like, two or three of the, of the extra monados, though. Oh mm. my gosh, this is a test of patience? Yeah, I don't even know if this is gonna have the star coin in it, but... Why? Why? Probably. Why did they red have to mushroom. do this? A red mushroom. Oh, no, okay. Uh, gotta be careful with this. Kind of funny, actually. Uh. Alright. Oh yeah! Yeah, just leave. Uh. Yeah, what games, like, what, like, new games were you guys, like, wanting to see? Wait, what's the wait, what do you ask? Oh crap. Uh, what, what new games for Nintendo are you hoping to see this year? Found Harry. Oh god. Uh, Just go. 2D Metroid. That's a good one, yeah. Well, we get some Metroid. Yeah, I'm hoping we get some intro on four. I'm going to try to find four. <laughs> uh, um. I. Um, Lots of releases this year. I. At most, I expect a at tease. At least one info. At the very least, I. I, I at, I think at most we're gonna see like a teaser by the end of the year, but I don't expect much else. But I don't know. We'll see. I do like the Violet. design of it. I'm sorry. Um, Violet, Violet is coming out in what on nine days, I think. Something like that. It was the twenty eighth. It said they said right. Yes. Yeah. Okay then. Days. Oh, this takes me back to New Mario what? One. Levels. Yeah, there are a lot of like uh, sewer levels in that game. Uh, when do you think the next DLC character? When do you think Spider Pass Two is gonna come oh, out? Oh crap! 
Um. I come out. April. Have... April. I'm gonna bet April. Maybe. I'm gonna. S uh, yeah, I, I suppose. I. I feel like they're gonna. Uh, the growth path is already done. I think I want. I think they want a little time to build it up. Yeah. Uh, I expect them to sh like show the next character in like a direct. Not the next one because that's gonna be too soon. But. Depends right. on what the next neural direct is. I I don't I I I expect it to be like, if not this month, then so, the like. Probably early to mid next month. I don't expect them to wait that long because we still don't know a lot about this year. Yeah, well, the year literally just started. Yeah, they usually do like an early direct to like show what to expect for like the first quarter or so, like before E3 and all that. And most of all, we got, yeah, and if E3 is March. Um, E3 is June. June. Yeah. Wait, wait, go back, oh. back up, Harry. Oh. Can we get up there? Go like all the way up here. Or like up here. I don't think we can get, get up there because of it at all. No. Can we go down? Well, there was a coin up there I got, but I already got okay, it. Okay, that in the left. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe use the water and go left. Maybe, I can try that. Yeah, I said this at the end of the last session, but I'd be- I'd always be down for a new Punch-Out game in specific. I don't know if that, that, that's ever gonna happen, but now that Luigi's mentioned 3 is done, maybe next level games can return to the Punch-Out series. Up here, oh, okay, fair enough. Um, fair enough. I don't know what else I'd like- I mean, a lot of people have been uh, hoping for an Odyssey 2 announcement, which uh, makes a lot of sense because we prob I think we briefly brought this up, but uh, Odyssey really deserves to get a Galaxy 2 si uh, situation. Because there's a lot of yeah. untapped potential well, in that. Uh, when, when did Odyssey 1 come When did Odyssey come out? Was that, was that mid 2017? Uh, October 2017. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because, like. So it's, been, so, it's, so, it's been, so it's been two years at least. Yeah. Which is a similar time frame to Galaxy 1 to 2. So it's not completely uh, out of the question, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but the fact that Breath of the Wild 2 um, is a thing makes people expect it more. Uh, I'd be, and I, I don't know, I'd be done with that. That was a cool secret. Uh, trying to think of anything else though, like besides like just some Wii U ports. Um. We already, we already talked about. Yeah. I'd hope at this point we don't have to rely on Wii U ports to punch up the software release schedule anymore. Yeah, that would be nice. I I I just I'm also like the Wii U ports for the fact that it lets people more people experience those games. Right. Again, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yeah. Like, like, they probably- they, I'd imagine that game did not sell well at all. Probably not. I'd imagine selling well on any system, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'd imagine- it, not everybody. I'd imagine it did a little- little better now. Uh, especially- Oh, well, yes, but- oh, Actually, it's... actually, um, I actually have an idea. Let me look up sales, actually, for how it is right now. Cause, like, well, I'd, I'd imagine, like, cause Persona 4 was a lot more, uh, a lot more- more of the casual, like, uh, audience knew about it. I'd imagine that increased interest quite a bit, Um, I don't know. I think you meant Persona 5, cause Persona 4 was already oh, years old when- but Persona 5, yeah, Persona... that's it. Persona 4, Persona 4 is like 2011, dude. Yeah, 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 Persona 5, that's why I meant. 2008, 2008, actually. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, I think about the anime. Yeah. Yeah, Persona 5. Because the, the, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people uh, knew about Persona 5 more so than uh, usual with Persona games. Oh. 
Oops. I've been, I've been waiting to get Tokyo Mirage, which is actually about like like a week at least to fully, fully get a sales. Yeah. Actually, well, let me just look at about since I have the wiki out. Let me let me check um the Wii U version. Mm. Five hundred thousand copies. That's my that's my estimate. That seems. Remember, fair. remember when they showed, remember when they showed it off? It seemed like I'm a Tensei Cross uh, Fire Emblem. No, because I never watched that Emergency Direct Nintendo had in early 2013. It was like, because it was like, uh, it was like shipping across, oh. across the, uh, you see like all different kind of fire and like icons and all that, and shipping like my Tensei shit. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I honestly just, I honestly forgot Yoshi was even in this game. Good. <laughs> like, it's been so long since we played a level with him that it's like, dude, the hell. Well, first of all, before I move on, reception is giving, has actually given it pretty high. Hmm. Okay. And the professional critics who played it seem to like it. Mm. Yeah, it. Um, Metacritic, uh, Metacritic gave it an eight, and gave it a eighty out of hundred. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Most of them, most of them are roughly around that 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 uh that rating too. Okay. Polygon gave it a nine point five out of ten. Seems IGN said 7.6 out of 10. So that actually sounds that actually sounds about right. Okay. Uh, let me check the sales. Point of the the game to be at number 13 with, with at number oh wow. Oh jeez. <laughs> Well, according, according to Famitsu, the game debuted at number 13 with 23,806 units having a moderate sell through rate. At release, the game ranked as number 8 in Nintendo's weekly download charts. Hmm. Alright then. The following week, it dropped to 16, selling another 9,094, bringing sales up to just under 33,000 units. By mid January, it had dropped to 27, but its but sell through rate had increased. According to Media Create, the game reached number 14 in the charts with all versions selling 26,340 units. The uh, following week, it had dropped out of the top 20. According to Dengeki Online, the game has had sold 32,896 units by January 2016. Okay. First week sales in, in North America, the game sold 50,000 units. Upon the UK release, for the view, the game reached number 18 in the all format charts and number 16 in the single format. Hmm. Okay. Although those numbers are pretty low, I guess it's pretty decent for Wii U standards. <laughs> yeah, oh. I suppose. Bye, Yoshi. Yoshi! No! Did Scrappy say bro? No, I said Yoshi. Oh. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I thought I heard bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Mario abandoning Yoshi was a bra moment, that's that's, that's for sure. No, I thought you were yeah. bra because of what I said. <laughs> oh, if I have any comments to say about Tokyo Mirage Sessions, is that for a niche idol game released on the dying days of the Wii U, it probably did as well as it could. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah. actually um, here's, some, here's an interesting fact. The composer for the game was actually the composer for the Love Live anime. Yeah. Well, that's something. <laughs> I mean, it's the it's the uh, type of genre, I guess. So. No, I love live game. I mean, those. I mean, cool. I mean, high school. I mean, high school Japanese idols. I guess it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's a really good looking CG. Yeah. We're in the big dick castle now. <laughs> Just trying my darndest to not mention it, but you did it for me. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna do it. Freeze up this ding dong. Oh. That's actually, definitely a thing. Actually, yeah. Uh... I just think it took him a I just beat one of the boss. I just beat the boss one of the bosses before uh, before I was catching up with Tom Fox's live stream. Mm. I want to know who who greenlit Tokyo Mirage Sessions in the form it came out. Yeah, it's interesting because we knew about that game for like the longest time, but we didn't know what form it was going to take for ages. Yeah, yeah, because like we saw it, it saw it looked like. 
actual like Shin Megami Tensei characters and Fire Emblem characters like crossing over. Yeah. Because like it was showing like all different kinds of like Fire Emblem like things and like like because I, I saw I know I saw like the samurai from the Shin Megami Tensei four in there. That's then, why I don't reveal games as a four gameplay is shown. <laughs> no, Shin Megami Tensei five. <laughs> um, uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. God damn it. God damn it. Don't remind me. When is that game even gonna, like, exist? I don't know. <laughs> when was Fortnite? I don't know, because after I saw the trailer, I'm so inter I'm so hyped. <laughs> when would- when did 4 come out? Um, that was 2013. <laughs> Good lord. Um, but, uh, um, the- Crossfire, um, Sharp, um, Sharp FB actually is, um, uh, Tokyo Mirage Reserve. It's a, uh, it, it is, it has, it is, like, it, it behaves more like Shin Megami Tensei in terms of its combat. Okay. But it has, like, Fire Emblem-esque, like, oh, crap. like, oh, 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 biscuit. Like, um, uh, like, Weapons Triangle. And it is important. It is very oh! important. Oh my god, the game almost like cheesed me out of that star coin. <laughs> Big dick. <laughs> and does that dildo have the same spike design as Bowser's bracelets? I don't know. I guess he just likes that design and just put it everywhere in his castles. Thank you, I love it. <laughs> Why'd you make it a big dick? <laughs> Junior doesn't need to know. Well, I just love how Bowser and Bowser Jr. have the parental control stuff and all that. Yeah. That's like perfect. This is the first time they try to do some. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. That sucked. This is the first time they tried to what? This is the first time they tried to alleviate the fact that you can. Uh. A attack the coupling like immediately after they get up so they make the uh platform you fire them on really small and have the pillars on the sides uh, it's not the most we're aware of the we're aware of the cheese it's still not the most difficult you get, thing you get the yeah it's still not the most difficult thing but at least they tried hmm. going back like i said i love that pastor brother jr like right look this that was so good yeah. Like, the original, like, Nintendo Switch parental control app video, that was like the that was one of the best things. Oh, yeah. I love that. I don't like, even... the dislike ratio was so messed up for that video. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> nope. I, don't, I don't know why you were good at me. They, like, ba come on, Bowser and Bowser Jr. are perfect for that. Yeah, I love that. I, I just Nintendo's fandom was still reeling from the Wii U days, and they didn't want to be reminded that children actually do buy these consoles. <laughs> I'm not gonna reach. Okay, maybe I am. Low petty. Yes, Nintendo fans are pretty petty when you, you get right down to it. Oh, that could have been really cool. I just cool. love the bit where like Bowser has to like rush his kid to cover Bowser in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and, ah, whoa, oh. 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 I, the fact that he, that Bowser doesn't end up scratching up his phone with his claws of his. Yeah, right? No, I like how he has like a normal, small, like, everyday phone. Yeah, how is he not, like, crushing that thing? Very delicately. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Um, very special phone case. Yeah, because it might as well just be like an ant to him. Um, his phone is touchscreen compatible with claws. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh crap. I like you guys a piece of wallpaper. No, the lock screen is Pete Driver, and I love it. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Touch him, toss him into the lava! <laughs> Although, I gotta say, it's not completely out of left field. In Mario Plus Rabbids, um, because ba Bowser's on vacation, apparently. <laughs> Bowser, he calls Bowser Jr. on a cell phone. Yeah, say, so, have you done your homework? He's making sure he did his homework. 
I love that. That's adorable. And, and took out the trash. <laughs> they have minions for that. <laughs> I will make sure my son is a responsible adult. Yeah. And that toe is gonna be stuck in a block I mean, for all I'm eternity. Not a bad dad. <laughs> you are bad guy, but that does not mean you are bad guy. I'm not. <laughs> Oh man. So I remember there being a very specific. I for his ice cream. Okay, oh, man. What? Yeah, I remember there I being <laughs> that. There's there's this very specific uh, secret exit in the next level that's like like dastardly hidden. Can we get more than one this time? No. Yeah, no. Okay, good. Oh, I got one? Yep. Why am I so bad at that? Based. What? Is it World 6 5? World 6 5, yeah. We got Porcupuff over here. Huh? Only fire on people know who that is. Huh? So give Mara says, I had to fight Dangle. I wonder how many people actually know who that is. Oh. <laughs> do, do, do. From the second star. Basically, you find the secret exit with the third star coin. Right. So near the end. Stock. Uh. Do I be playing the athletic theme for a water level? Um... Oh, that's, um, uh, what is That's Porcupuffer. That ass. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna chase you a low level. Uh, he originated Mario 3, right? It's a big Bertha from Mario 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the second one. How do you draw? I swear you can drop off of those. Oh well. The more I play this game, the more I'm realizing that Itsuki is not really the main character. Okay, I think it's like... Yeah, it's this. The main player character really is not the main character. Are you telling me the generic male lead is being overshadowed by his... More interesting female companions, say it ain't so. Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, no, Itsuki is actually very, actually is kind of like the bland one. He's just there to basically make the boss of the stronger character. That sounds about right. Or yeah, our entire says, gender is just a. He even says he'd rather be on support. Hmm. <laughs> and we get to be the leads of games, so we don't get to have actual personalities. Yeah. That sounds about right. Who wants to be the harem main pro- Who wants to be the harem protagonist of their own life? Cause... <laughs> I'm not seeing many upsides. Um... What does and no, the harem doesn't count. Oh, I was gonna man. say the guy from High School DXD. Yeah, doesn't he have a power that makes him, like, get people, like, naked or, like, whatever? I think it's only- I think it's like he only can strip women. <laughs> oh my god. And like, we talk- I remember talking about that once, where like, if Joey had that power, he would like, destroy the world, basically. The sad part is, is that- the interesting part is he's actually an interesting character. <laughs> he's not just pervert. Paramount <laughs> protagonists these days are just generally nice people who just have the misfortune to be the target of affection by several women. Yeah, most of, oh, yeah, yeah. Most of the time, it's like, uh, Harem is just well, like... Well, in the high school DXD space, he wants a Harem. He flat out admits it. Yeah, yeah, I've heard as much. It's like, most of the time, That's with like... He flat out says, I want, I, I want to be like, I want a Harem. It's <laughs> hilarious. But it's like, yeah, most of, most of the time, Harems is just like, it's just some generic, like, random dude just in the middle of, like, a bunch of girls, basically, half the time. Yeah, but in, 
I still just love that Issei, he's just like, it's like, I want a harem, he's, why don't, why don't I admit he, he likes boobs and all that. He's still somehow, he's still somehow a very interesting and in-depth character. <laughs> and he still gets all the girls. And I, I divorce <laughs> that character from his old voice actor, I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> Issei? Yeah. Scott Freeman, he's in jail now. Oh god. He's... Is this recent? This was just like five years ago. Dang. Oh. Okay, we've got another secret exit here, so I don't- This one, I don't remember where this one is. So I guess we'll just go through normally for now. The secret exit? Uh, six, six, six. Dark Dude, level. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this level. Yeah, I don't remember being too much of a fan of this. Much of a fan of this one. Uh, yeah. Enter a red pipe in the area with the fire bros. Okay. I think I might know what that is. Stop dropping that. Screw it. Just go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> How come coins float in the air, but they sink underwater? Gravity. Yes. Although, it, although interestingly, coins still stay in the air until they're until they're hit by a power block. Yeah, that's what he means. Basically, it's like <laughs> I I don't know. Gravity is like super strong in the or like I don't know. Coins def defied a lot the laws of physics. Pretty much. Okay. So let's actually get this again. I'm just gonna drop down, screw that. Oh, it's, oh, it's uh, Eleonora. Can't wait to see you in Heroes tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, one oh, other oh. thing was, uh, talking about, like, 3D Mario remakes. Uh, what, what do you guys have to say on that? Like, what, what, uh, ones do you think need remakes more than others per se all of them <laughs> but uh yeah i guess the 64 and sunshine more so than the others yeah i would love a like less so a remake and more like a hd remaster of galaxy 1 and 2 as like a duo pack on the switch Um, but I, I'd love a Sunshine remake. That, that was like, everyone was expecting that to be on the Wii U, like after the Zelda stuff, but it just never happened. So like that, that I think out of all of them needs a remake the most. I mean, if they, if they want to go like, if they want to make the game bigger like they did with 64DS, it'll be nice to see that cut content. I don't know if they do that, but... Maybe, like, Xenoblade's remake is adding an area that was cut from the original game. Yeah, they're adding cut content to the Xenoblade. Oh, I can't wait to see that! Yeah, they're adding cut content to Xenoblade, so... Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah. I think I made. I think I said before, but I, I have officially declared that Xenoblade Chronicles is my all-time favorite game. Yeah. Um. That's why. That's what's why I'm so hyped. Yeah. Oh, where's the fire, bros? I mean, the the red pipes around here. Oh crap! Do I want to do the secret exit now, or uh? As long as you remember it. I, mean, I just have to remember Fire Bros. Oh! 
Oh, you chuck. Yeah. This level's a stinker. Nah, no, it's, it's not waste that. I also have to remember to go back to World 2 because there's a secret exit we missed there. Wouldn't mind a Mario 64 remake to just combine the original elements with the DS remake. Yeah, we, I, we need... It would be nice... Without that awkward friend around. <laughs> huh? Without that awkward thing where Mario sometimes doesn't just snap to your direction where you have to walk around. Yeah, that and uh, don't have the neutered controls from the DS game. Well, why would you remake it and give it back to us? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask the people who made Psych on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. It's, it's not as bad as that. But. Um, what game were we talking about before? He was talking about Sonic Genesis. Oh. Um, 2006 was not a good year for that franchise. I think she had Sonic Riders. Was, who developed that actually? Was that Sonic Team? I Sonic Team. Mm. The propeller, Harry. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Can you check? Well, I can't look right now. Well, I mean, I, I have the I have the spring, so I don't think I need it. No, oh, dang it. Well, well, no, that's fine. Good. Please. Sonic. Okay, I can just swim back. Sonic Team and uh, now production. So. Oh, I hate how they mixed it up. Can we just agree that all brothers' enemy characters are the worst in any Mario platformer? Yes, very much so. Oh, oh my god, why is this like the worst thing? It those variants in Mario World. Yeah. Chapter 2, complete. Indeed. Yeah, I, I'd like yeah. a definitive version of... I'm just trying to play until Gimmer Assassin. I, I would like a definitive version of 64 though, because we don't really have one. Because it's like... The... The... Because DS has like extra extra features added to it, but... There's also caveats to playing it over the original. And it's like... We don't really have a best version of that game. Like how Crash Nitro Kart had different character rosters on the handheld and then the console versions, and now... Nitro Field has every one except for Emperor Velo. Yeah. And it's like... Uh, this is like a different example, I guess, but... Uh, like, both versions of Sonic Unleashed are like, entirely different games. And there's really no... I mean, I like the HD version better, but there's really no definitive version of that game either. Really, it mostly just comes down to personal taste in that game's case. And we are never gonna get like reformatted versions on different consoles ever again. Yeah. Oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the EX story. That is something that was. Are you guys like ever gonna like move down? Um, no. <laughs> it's a uh, something that I that was kind of interesting about the Wii era is that. If a game came out for the other consoles, they had to make essentially a new game for the Wii, which was, which got really interesting sometimes. Like, can this guy just like go away? <laughs> the barrels for. Uh, that's... Okay, that's where the secret exit There's is. The pipe. I'm gonna There's just. The yeah. Okay, so we know where to go for the secret exit now, and I can't see at all. So I'm just gonna. This is the end. Right, thank God. Put a Koopa Trooper right in front of that pipe. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, there's an idola sphere over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this. Um. Uh. I could be misremembering, but I kind of want to say that this game is quite a lot easier than the DS version because. I actually remember struggling quite a few times in that game, where in this one, 
uh, hasn't been as much the case. Because, like, the DS game, a lot of the star coins are, like, really devilishly hidden, or just generally harder to get to than usual. Whereas this game, not so much most of the time. I thought this game was harder than the original. Hmm. Like, it seems like even Miyamoto and the developers were kind of, like, we heard complaints that the first game was too hard, too easy, so we huh. made this one harder. That's interesting, then. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I can, it, maybe if I played the game again, I, I changed my tune on that, but I recall struggling on that game a lot more. I do, they said, they said similar things about more Galaxy 2 compared to Galaxy 1, and I consider that one easier than Galaxy 1. Hmm. Easier to get the 60 yeah, stars, costumes. anyways. I... Oh, they have costumes. Nice. I, I, in terms of, like, Galaxy... Oh, I, all of them. I mean, I... I'll, I mean, I'll start by saying, like, difficulty is subjective in any game, but in terms of, like, the Galaxy tri uh, trilogy, the Galaxy duology, um, I... After replaying Galaxy 1, uh, or most of it, I, I would say they're about on the same general level. Um, I'd have to replay Galaxy 2 to to it to the end to really decide which one I think is harder overall, but I think they're around the same level of difficulty, all things considered. Alpha 2 just offered a, uh, just enough quality of life improvements to just make the experience of playing a bit easier. Yeah, like, yeah. If you got a second player, now they can hold items, so that's definitely an improvement for difficulty yeah use my brother as a crutch in that game and you know <laughs> what i'm not ashamed i'm not ashamed <laughs> yeah because i remember like uh, the some of the some of the later comet challenges in galaxy one are like kind of evil the reason i'm not big on completing 3D Mario games are all the way through. Mm. Well, I mean, the Galaxy games, uh, is the Galaxy games are definitely one of the longest Mario games in general because it's like, like in a, a level in 64 can be be into 100% in like, I don't know, five like 10 to 10 to 15 minutes if you know what you're doing, um, especially in like the the more open stages. Whereas, well, like, a stage in Galaxy can take up upwards to, like, 20 to 30 minutes in comparison. So it's a lot more... There's a lot more stuff to bite your teeth into. It's like... I'd say... I, I, Galaxy 1 and 2 are my favourite 3D Mario games, but... I will say that I tend to replay them less than, like, 64 and Sunshine, just... Mainly for the fact that they are so much longer as games, that they're a bit more of an undertaking to replay than those games are. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but... I haven't played these games in like... I haven't played Galaxy 1 in more than a decade. Mm. I can tell you this right now, P um, a melty molten galaxy. I think the Daredevil comment on that stage gives me PTSD. Just don't like the comet challenges in general. I'm it. I'm fine with some of them. Most of the ones in Galaxy One are kind of there for padding, uh, but I don't mind some of the purple coin challenges, and I don't mind the the uh, sp what was it the. Uh, Co cosmic clone races uh everything else is either too easy to really be considered like a special challenge requirement or just blatant padding like a lot of the speedrun challenges are basically not not really even speedruns because they're so generous i think i said something similar in the sunshine playthrough but Cut down a number of power stars to a hundred. <laughs> mm. And twenty just 
tends to lead to busy work. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Galaxy Two. Anyway, two D Mario. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just say like, um, I re we really, I mean, we should really should be saving this for those playthroughs, but since it's on the mind, uh, I will say Galaxy Two. I think does handle the side content better. Yeah, before we do this, actually, I'm gonna go back to World Two. Um, I forgot about this little world map thing. I liked it. Yeah, that's I I really I like this world map um, warp thing. Okay, so okay, we need to go into this pipe, and we need like we need to get a propeller mushroom in the stage somewhere. So I know where this is. We just have to be a little bit precise with how we do this. Um. Sayers level. Huh? I was just making a JoJo joke because oh, okay. that's all I got. <laughs> nice. So the idea with this secret exit is that you kind of have to like. Uh, use the wind and like wall jump off a wall so you like go up to a to like an area you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise so this is a little bit specific I'm not sure if you can get this without the propeller suit but it's a lot easier with it so and even the Koopas are fighting against the wind <laughs> yeah so it's near this area it's like these games did this game go. in particular just can only speak for us for this game at least from based on my memory my memory this game did offer a good deal of level gimmicks like that i mean yeah yeah I, I can't think of any other mario game that had you any mario game before does that had you actually like controlling a lamp in a in like an underwater river not saying it was necessarily fun but it was something <laughs> new i can I, I can agree yeah i can agree with that yeah and he and even though i'm not the biggest fan of the uh that one stage in the jungle that is still an attempt at doing something unique so the one of the raft or whatever it was it's more manageable with a second player. Yeah. In general, I do like this. I do like the world maps that they have in this game. Yeah. Really nice, actually. Uh -huh. Mario U and 3D World would basically take the concept and run with it. Yeah, I really like. Actually no, I'll, I'll talk about more. I'll talk more about Mario U when we actually play that game. But I do Just rubbing I, your hands, waiting to talk about it. Yeah, that's not gonna be for a while. But yeah, I think that. What are we doing? Huh? Yeah. Mm. What are you just gonna say? No, I was gonna say uh, Mario U. I think does out of all the games, I think it does the most right out of the new series. Uh, but that's as much as I'm gonna say now. Because I don't wanna blow that load. Speaking of old, old speaking of 2.5D platformers, when are we gonna get when are we getting to Donkey Kong? Um after, presumably after this game's done. I don't know how much of a gap there is there's gonna be between this and returns, but um Oh that was interesting. Uh I don't I know you could do that. Yeah, I thought the ice was just gonna break. Um, yeah, I'd like to get to returns. Hopefully, not too long after this game, because um, returns is probably among my favorite games on the Wii. So, you know. <laughs> it's definitely my one of my favorite. Uh. Pla uh, 2D platformers on the Wii was actually a really good system for side scrollers. I feel like we don't appreciate that anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because um, I don't know how much 
uh, the DS game did in terms of revitalizing ha like 2D games, but I feel like after this game, 2D platformers started to become uh, a lot more prevalent than they were for years. Um, and I feel like a lot of that is probably thanks to this game because of how, because th this and DS, the DS version both sold like insanely well. And, uh, Side scrollers never went away on handhelds, but no. yeah, there was definitely a stigma to having them on consoles for like 15 years. Yeah, because we got like, like stuff like I mean, we got stuff like Shovel Knight. Now we got trop like Returns of Tropical Freeze, the Rayman uh, revival games. Um, we got all that stuff, a bunch of indie stuff, and you know, it's nice to see like. I'm surprised I lived that. Uh, it it's nice to get a lot of 2D love. I do... I would like to see... Uh, I mean, we've seen... Oh. Yeah, I tried to jump. Uh, we we have seen some 3D revivals, but... I would like to see more of that, because... You know, that's... <laughs> like for we're millennials. <laughs> that, that, and the fact that it's like, nowadays it's really hard to come across uh, some good old 3D platformers and stuff. We're at, I'd say we're in a better place now than we were like 10 years ago. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're, we're getting there. How is Subasa as like a main character? Not the main character. <laughs> oh, she isn't. I've, I, 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 no, Itsuki is not the main character. <laughs> he's he support for Subasa, who's the real star of the show. Yeah, I always assumed Subasa was the main character, so. He is, even though Itsuki has the most problems on the cover. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh. He's alright. Very aim. Perky, I like, I, 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 she's definitely, she's definitely one of those, what's it say, anime girl. Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> I just remember that reveal trailer in April 2015. Mm. Oh, I think right. it was just a collective, what the fuck? Yeah. Wait, you know, we heard, like, the J-pop song, well, you heard the J-pop song? Yeah, I was, like, so confused. I remember that specifically, um, when that trailer was playing, um, I was with, um, Jerry and a couple of other friends, um, and we were just watching the direct together, and we had like no idea what was going on, but we were just like, we, we, we were just like, like this is the coolest thing ever, and we had no idea what was going on. Alright, let's see how tough the enemies are in here. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, oh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, 2D revival. Um, oh yeah. Hi, Thargo. Yeah, uh, thanks Mario. You may have saved a genre that technically wasn't dead to begin with, but yeah, popularized on consoles again, so thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I can deal with enemies like this level. They're actually kind of simple. Indie games, I think, I think really, we can thank Mario and Sonic also, because Sonic 4 will be coming out like just a few months after this. Yeah. And then, what else happened? Um, I think, yeah, just the explosion of indie developers having the technology to do 2D games helped a lot. Yeah, and like that, that stuff got, started gaining a lot more interest. And then we got a bunch of it, and then we all got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it also helps that like, uh, like AAA developers started making more 2D games, like. Again, with the Rayman stuff and like Donkey Kong and all that. Oh, wow. And I mean, I, um... uh, I'd have it no other way, honestly, because, you know, uh, those, the modern, the modern 2D platformers are some of my favorite games, so. Of most of the Wii side scrollers. Yes. Reprieve. That was quick. Yeah, that was a boss. <laughs> was it though? Was it really? <laughs> oh lordy. Harbor by Itsuki and his friends took shape inside the box. Obtain the survivor's tail costume. 
I. 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 Labyrinth. Am I just? Where are these help? Are we going over airship level? <laughs> no. I like the way Junior. Oh, these are the uh, double survivors' outfits. I like the way Junior just like looks at the camera. <laughs> 